Hey guys, what's up? It's Andrew, and today I'm gonna to show you how to take footage you thought was ruined and bring it back to life. All right, so the first thing we have to do is open up Final Cut Pro. All right, so here's the first clip we're gonna work on today. Uh, it's one that I was really excited about when we were filming, but once I imported it and got to see it on my actual screen, it just does not look very good. If you notice here, there's a bunch of grain and nasty texture. Um, and then obviously the colors are just super desaturated. So the colors we can fix with some basic color correction and a lot. That looks a lot better, I think. You can see here that there's just a bunch of grain in his jacket and it just doesn't look very good. All right, once we have a clip selected that we know needs some work, we're gonna go over to the effects panel, type in noise and drag Denoiser 3 over to our clip. All right, so this is very important. So whenever you do any sort of denoising to your footage, you wanna make sure to take the denoising tool and drag it to the top of your effects panel. That way the denoiser can do its work before you've added more noise through the color correction that you've done. And so the settings that I actually like to use for this are a little extreme, but have given me great results. I take reduced noise and put it all the way up at about at least above 70% for sure. I'm gonna do about 80 here. Smooth colors, 100%. Preserve detail, can probably leave it on this clip and then sharpen them out all the way down. Now, if you do that, you notice already all the noise in his jacket right here is just absolutely gone. Another added benefit of doing this is that it actually smooths out some skin blemishes and makes the skin, especially on the bride here, just look perfect. All right, and if we play that back, it looks great. Very happy with that. All right, so now we're gonna move on to our next clip. So this clip actually looks pretty good to me. I don't see very much obvious noise and it looks like it just needs some color. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so again, this clip is not horrible. You can just see that there's some issues in his jacket um, and a little in this mountain over here, but not something that I would say needs it, but let's see if we can improve it even further by using the Denoiser 3 tool. So we're just gonna grab that, throw it on the clip, put it at the top. Let's bring that to about 73 this time. At 100, can preserve detail, that's fine, and sharpen all the way down. All right, so you can see this definitely did clean up his jacket and that mountain, smoothed out some skin a little bit. Um, let's see how it looks when we play it through. All right, well, it was rendering a little bit there at the end, but in general, it looks fantastic. All right, so something I am noticing in this one is that it is maybe over smoothing some of the things in this jacket. And so something we can do to correct that is just grab preserve detail and turn it up. And as you can see, a lot of detail has actually started to return to this jacket while having the colors still be consistently smoothed. Let's watch that through one more time. Looks great. All right, third clip. So this clip definitely needs noise reduction. The other clips benefited from it, but this clip, you can see there's just horrible colors and grain everywhere. So let's just see what we can do with those exact same settings. Drop the denoiser on, it's already at the top. Let's just turn this one all the way to 100 just because it's so bad. Um, turn that down. All right, so you'll notice there's actually quite a bit of smoothing going on. It's already way better, but it does seem to have that, you know, over denoised effect where it, everything just kind of looks smudged. So we're going to take our preserved detail and turn that up a little bit. All right, looks like we got a fair amount of detail back. So here's before and after. Looks a lot better in my opinion. All right, so I bet some of you guys have noticed by now that there is actually another option for noise reduction in the effects menu. This is the default noise reduction that comes with Final Cut Pro. So let's try it out and see if it works well. So we're gonna turn off denoiser. And then if we use what is basically the same settings, we're gonna set it on high, no sharpness added. Let's see how it looks. All right, actually not bad on that clip. Uh, one thing I have noticed with it though, so if you put it on a clip like this that's really utilizing the smoothing colors effect, uh, it doesn't seem like the built-in noise reduction has that. 
So in this clip, you can definitely still see that there's some color noise going on in the jacket that just isn't there with the normal denoiser. Um, however, it definitely helps. So if you can't afford denoiser three, the built-in noise reduction in Final Cut does work. All right, last clip. This is a clip that in the past I would have looked at and gone delete, but let's see what we can do with it. All right, so we're gonna grab a denoiser, drag it on, all the way up for this one for sure, all the way up, no, and I'm sure we're gonna need to turn preserve detail all the way up because there's just not much there. All right, so what I'm actually noticing with this clip is that I think preserve detail on so much might be giving us some extra grain. Um, and so just because this clip is so horrible anyway, we're gonna actually try turning it way down to see if we can get some better results. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Again, this clip is really far gone, and so it doesn't look great, but I mean, you can't deny that that looks a whole lot better than that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. We're gonna be putting out new videos once a week with tips and tricks to help you become a better filmmaker. Thanks for watching. See you next time.